We're going to look at our second example. Different breeds of dogs can be associated with their mean heights. Consider the relation represented in the bar graph. Now we're going to represent this relation as a set of ordered pairs. Now it's kind of important which one goes first here. Now does the mean height and the dog I think there's a natural way to do things here, and that would be to specify the dog and then put the, the mean height. That's what I'm thinking for this. All right. I mean, it's not really specified. I guess I can do what I want. And if I do that, and I'm going to make a set. Now what's important is, is a set. I make those, those braces that look like this, and I have a set of dog and then height. And then I list another type of dog, and then the height of the other type of dog. And I go on until I have exhausted all dog height pairs. So I've done that in the following way. This is my set of ordered pairs. Afghan, hound, 70, 75. Now notice over here, it's a set, so I open it up with set brackets. And then I have these ordered pairs, which are just in regular brackets. They're not in the special set bracket or braces. Afghan, hound, comma, 75. Next point, comma, chihuahua, comma, 20. Next order pair, Corgi, 30, so on and so forth. Let's go back to the question. So I could also represent this in a table. So in one column, I have dog. Interesting, maybe breed of dog would have been more um, explicit. But I know that my Afghan hound is 70. My Chihuahua is 20, Corgi, 30, Golden Retriever, 60, German Shepherd, 60, and my Malamute looks like it's 70. Now, when I'm probably doing this question by myself, I would probably do this one first. A table is really important. From a table, it's really easy to make a set of uh, of my ordered pairs. Really easy. I mean, it's a lot easier than thinking about it. And once you have your table, I'm going to draw an arrow diagram now here. So all I need to do is put the heights in. So we have a height of, well, I'm going to do something that I would do normal convention in math, is I would probably write my numbers in increasing order here. And I notice that for the heights set, there are only four elements. But for the dog set, we have all the types of breeds. But the Afghan hound is 70, so I'm going to draw my little arrow diagram there. My chihuahua is 20, so there we are. There's my chihuahua up there. It doesn't look very good. Let's try that again. My chihuahua is 20. There, that's obviously pointing at 20. My Corgi, I believe, was 30. By the way, Corgi is what the Queen of England has. Golden Retriever is 60. There we are. My Golden Shepherd is also 60. I'm just going to switch colors just so that there's a little bit going on here. And my Malamute is 70. There, there's my arrow diagram. So we've taken a look at relations through uh, ordered pairs, through a table, and through an arrow diagram. Relations are very important when you're trying to describe how one item is related to another item.